with regard to marriage in our law, it's about a civil contract. So that's contract law. Now you're in the midst of people who um, don't agree with you. You want this marriage bill to pass today. What kind of reaction are you getting around you? Are you talking to anyone on the other side? I'm, I'm standing here praying for everyone who's in the building today. Because I think it's important that we remember that we're all human beings. God belongs to all of us and we belong all of us to God. It wasn't that long ago that the Lutheran Church voted to have gay clergy. Indeed. And I'm one of those clergy that they allowed to uh, become a part of the official rosters. And my beloved and I have been together 20 years. Would you like to marry? We will marry legally. We certainly have been married in the eyes of God for a long time. What will happen to you personally if this doesn't pass today? It will hurt. But I, we'll, I'll continue on. It's not over. Now I am. What church do you represent? The Church of St. Henry in Monticello, Minnesota. How will, how will this affect you and your church if this bill passes today? It will affect us a lot because uh, in many ways, many freedoms, we can be sure, will be taken away. Freedom for the photographer to express his or her, her beliefs or uh, honor his or her beliefs in their work. And basically, bottom line, you feel that the Bible tells you that this shouldn't happen. Is that correct? No, I feel that this is rooted in natural law. We see that right here. A man and a woman uh, makes a child. And the only institution keeping a child together with their mother or father is marriage according to the definition of marriage that has been in place for many centuries across all times and places and across all cultures. Do you think gay people then should be prohibited from adopting? I do. I believe that adoption should be um, something that for, uh, should, uh, all adoptions should be placed in, cup, in homes that have a mother and a father. Being 75 A's and 59 nays, the uh, bill is passed and it's as amended and it's title agreed to. For a while, what finally tipped it here in the Minnesota House? Pardon you. What, what finally district? tipped this issue in the Minnesota House? I think liberty and justice for all. But for other people on the other side of the room, that means something completely different. It means the mm, ability to almost discriminate, that they didn't want to lose. I, I believe that, that misunderstandings about the, any potential loss of liberty that they anyone envisions are uh, misplaced and that will be uh, understood as the language of the bill and the amendment you, that was adopted uh, think, are, are, are brought forward. Do you think Finn Simmons amendment brought any people over to this vote? Uh, I do not know that. I, he, he voted for the bill so he did. I, I believe you know it brought him in anyway. Do you did you feel this way strongly for years, or have you tipped on this issue recently? When I, did you come to it? I've always been on uh, the side of the Constitution. It's simply constitutional. It's First Amendment and Fourteenth Amendment. And uh, as you may or may not recall on the, my floor speech against the constitutional amendment two years ago, I made that quite clear that I thought that marriage was a religious word that should not be in our Constitution or in our statutes, and that violates the First Amendment of our Constitution against re religion and government. Well, I would just say, as, as emotional as this is for many people, what we do in law is not about emotion. With regard to marriage in our law, it's about a civil contract, so that's contract law. It's about how things are divided up when, if a divorce happens. It's about uh, how estates are settled. Those kinds of legal questions is what the law is about when it comes to marriage or civil unions or civil contract. So that's what we've done here today is we've given everybody those liberties under the Constitution. In an equal way. Yes. Thanks so much.